Father, thank you. Chitafe, we bless your holy name. Elinyayo, etukuvu, thank you for sending Christ Jesus. We malenyo, oluokutuma Christo Yesu. In our midst, to show us your love, your ability, and your power. Father, sin is not pleasing to you. Forgive us all. Ask him to forgive you. Because sin is not pleasing to him. Whatever you sinned against him, against your fellow human being, ask the Lord Jesus to forgive you. Ask him now. Ask him to give you the grace for a direction to know what is next to manage what is next prayer In Jesus, we pray. You may be seated. You may be seated. Good morning. Say to Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Our simple topic today is like a parable. A sky has no problem to a bird, but its capacity to fly is the issue. The world has no problem with you. The problem has no issue with you. But your capacity to solve the problem is the issue. The space has no problem with you. But your capacity to occupy. The race has no problem with you. Even those whom you are racing with, they have no problem. But your capacity to race is the issue. Whether you are old or young, that is not the issue. But your capacity to run, that is why we are here today. Your enemies they have no issue with you. Your enemies are not the problem. You may not know that what you have is what they are fighting for. Otherwise, for you, they have nothing to do with you. But your capacity to maintain and to make it is the issue. God loves us so much 
and they created us for a purpose. But because man does not follow instructions from his creator, this is where things go wrong. Man always meet the unknown. Because it is unknown to him, he is so fearful and scared. And he asks what is next. You are here seated asking yourself what is next. That is why he sent his son Christ Jesus to guide you what next. He said, follow me. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. Follow me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You are so fearful because you might be destroyed. Anything happened to you, it may result into death. Even if it's your business, business yo, you fear it may collapse. You don't have faith, don't have trust in your next. This is man. Even you fear next. Otia, he said, I am the way to success. I'm the truth about the unknown. Because you don't know your tomorrow. 14, 6 of John. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He said to them, you avoid the responsibility. Them are no more. You are the one in the race. That, that generation went. You are the generation. Jesus is speaking to you. He is saying all these words to help you to succeed. So Jesus said, uh -huh. Jesus is saying to you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is saying to you, he is the way to your success. The truth about your tomorrow. And he is your life next. He proved this in 1140 of John. Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with 
grab clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. To God be the glory. Have faith in God. I'm in mean, John 11. Yokana Kuminemu. Verse 22. You can start from 21, 22, 23. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I'm the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? <laughs> Mukama wange, singa wali wano, mwanyi na zete yandi kude. Ela kakano mmanyi, ngabiyo nabiyo no saba katonda, katonda anabikuwa. Yesu na mugamba anti mwanyoko, ajia kuzukira. Maliza na mugamba anti mmanyi, nti alizu ukirira kulunaku, orengo menero. Yesu na mugamba anti nze kuzukira, no ulamu, akili zanze, he said, I am the life. People are yearning and crying for their lives. It is 16 of John. He never came to give a temporary life. He came to give everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Kuvanga katonda wa yaga lensivu hati no huwayo na wayo mwana we eyazari homu yeka to God be the glory. God loves us so much. And he, he, he wishes to see us succeeding. He created us for his glory. And he wishes each one of us to succeed. This is his plan and program. He wishes you and me to succeed. God is not your enemy. Any success in your life because he is your creator. He is happy to see that you succeed and give him glory. Say, God wishes me to succeed and give him glory. Because he has so much to do for us. But we don't follow the instruction. Hence, we wrong. And that is the sin which doesn't please us in. If you read Genesis 1 28, then God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, 
and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Katonda naba ngomukisa, katonda naba gamba nti mweyonge lenga, mwalenga, mujuzensi, mujirie, mufugenge vyomu nyanja, nebi buka wakulu, na gulia chiri na ulamu, echitambula kunsi. Do you want to say you created this, you are taking dominion over? The bird looks at you and it fly away. Animal fly away. God has put something around you. To take care of them. To be better than them. He wishes you to have dominion. Say, God wishes me to have dominion. This is his estate. He brought you as a manager to manage his estate and dominate. That, that, that in your generation. And the others come. They run the same race in their generation. They enjoy the victory. God wants you to enjoy His creation. That is why he said, let your light so shine that they may see the good works you are doing and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Kale, omusana kwa mwe, kwa kenga kwe kutio, mumaso kabantu, palavenge mili mwe milu njiche mukola mwe, bali okaba kulu mizenga chita mwe, alimu kulu. Your ability to Dominate is his concern. If you don't succeed, God feels bad. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to run the race so that you grow more in this your generation. Here and in heaven. Here. Because he created you for his glory. So in whatever you are doing, do you see yourself giving God glory? Does it, that what you are doing give him glory? Or you are complaining every day? God blessed you. Them. That, that, that them produced you. You replaced them. Now you are one of them whom God blessed. Say, I'm one of them. Those, those whom God blessed. So the blessing is for us all. But when man went wrong, he became naked. Not naked of clothes, naked of these blessings. Naked of God's ability in his facility or fuck out. 
In his hands, in his legs, in his brain, he became less. These are the sins we commit. You lose the ability to dominate because you have not followed the instructions. Otherwise, God loves you and he wants you to win. Man was corrupted. That is why he says in 422 of Ephesians that you put off concerning your former conduct mm. the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Put off the former who goes corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. You are doing your business. Somebody comes and says, no, 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 there is something in Nairobi. There is a deal. You can get 50 million out of these 2 million. No. Within these 2 million, if you give it to me, you will get 50 million. If it's 2 million, let me borrow even 20 million. You are deceived every day. You are never stable on your project. If you see now the rest of people seated here, you may see that what God is saying to us is true. They were disappointed by the friends. They became poor or less by their friends who deceived them. Relatives who disappointed them. And be renewed in your mind. Huh? And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And put on a new man who was created in righteousness in the image of God in the true righteousness. Be renewed. in the spirit of your mind. Let your mind be different. Let you start thinking different. Let you stop getting worried. Adapt a new man who is strong. Now, this is the issue. Have faith in God. Faith isn't anything else. But faith is termed as the finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ. You gather them and they put a comparison and the trust in what you have seen. The faith is talking about is not something to suspect, something to imagine in your head. It is a reality. Have faith in God that now we are in the space. The 
who planet this where we are and is in the space. Nobody is holding. That God who is holding without a hand, if I trust him, he will hold me within this situation. That is the faith. Or 23 of Matthew. Then Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who are afflicted with various diseases and torments and those who are demon possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Great Have multitudes. faith in him. That faith is not something imaginable. The Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. He said it and he cannot say it anymore because it is standard. That is what he would do to that generation, to this generation, and the generation to come. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Mukama na kubiranga mumasoka balabebo abakugolo kokera ko banafulu mango kukutabala mukubo limu. The Lord will cause, you will not cause, you need God to get involved in your situation that he may cause. Because if you are the one who will cause, you are in a very big trouble. You have hands, your enemies, they have the same hands. You can talk, they can talk. They, there's nothing they cannot do in a human form. Unless there is something greater, different, you are in trouble. This is why we are here. Ask him to get involved in your today and your tomorrow and in your future. He will cause. If you don't see anything moving in your business or anything, that's not a big deal. Ask him to intervene. He himself will cause your business to begin to move. If there is something you don't know, he will cause you to know it. He will cause you to understand it. This is what people forget. <coughs> okay, mm, look at this man. Just say, Pastor. Hey, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. You want to touch me? <laughs> Watch what has happened to the brother when he was trying to touch the pastor. The Lord has caused him to run away. It is him who will cause. Not you to cause. You need him to cause your business to grow. Babiana, he, it is him who caused you to be placed in that position. It is him who caused 
Lord Jesus, I surrender unto you. Cause me now to possess that position. Cause me all. Oh it is him who cause you. However much you quarrel, you do whatever, it will never work. He is the cause of your success. Say, here I am, O oh Lord. Before you, I have known today you are the cause of my success. Lord Jesus, I surrender unto your authority. Cause, cause all my prayers to come about. Grant me, O oh Lord, all my request in your name, Jesus. The Lord will cause me to prosper. The Lord will cause me to have an answer to my question. Glory be to God. Are you troubled? The Lord will cause peace. Say, Lord Jesus, within this, my troubled situation, cause peace. Cause peace. Cause prosperity. Cause strength. I surrender unto you. In Jesus' name. I did not touch the boy. But I don't know what happened to him. You will not know what will happen to him. See, I will not know what will happen to my problems. And I don't want to know. But the Lord will cause. The Lord will cause. Even those who laugh at me. The Lord will cause them to swallow, to swallow their saliva in Jesus' name. Those who are laughing at you, the Lord will cause them to swallow their words. See, those who are laughing at me, the Lord Jesus will cause them swallow their own words that they cannot say it anymore because the Lord has done it. Clap for Jesus. Because man became naked he became less the enemy Satan took a chance to arrest him for failure. You may be seated here, but you may see that behind you, the enemy really used you or oh people to your downfall. Either your people, your friends, or you your own self by deceiving you and those around you. Man became less in ability to dominate to maneuver. So the sky isn't the problem to the bird. But the bird's ability to fly is the issue. That is why God sent his son Christ Jesus 
to restore your ability, the bird's ability to fly because the sky is open. The bird will fly according to its ability. You do according to your ability. Your problem is not the issue now. Your ability to solve the problem. You need ability. And God has sent his son Christ Jesus that he may restore your ability to dominate. Why do you mind those who abuse you at your work? The Lord will cause them Said the Lord will cause them. If I ask him to get involved in my project for the glory of God, he will definitely cause them. But the issue now, because man grew weak because of the deceitful lust, he became weak. So the wicked one came and arrested him because he doesn't want man to succeed for the glory of God. Who is the wicked one? The, the demon is. But God sent his son so powerful greater to demonstrate his power and renew the mind of man in order to manage God's estate for the glory of God. That's what about be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So the enemy is always racing with you. You see him even the dream. He's racing with you. How are you going to win him? For the glory of God. By putting on a new man. Salvation is never there other than you putting Jesus inside you. Because the enemy will show you that you are not saved. The enemy will manage you. He will show you that you have false claims. When the situation Arise when the test arises. Hey, you know how far you have gone. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 1019 of Luke. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. He sent his son Jesus Christ to renew your mind so that you can win the race. All the demons racing with you that you can now win them for the glory of God. Say, I'm here to be renewed in the spirit of my mind that whatever is racing with me, 
I win the race. I put on the garment. Lord Jesus, I'm here to put on the garment to win the race for the glory of God. Why you are here today is to win your battles for the glory of God. So why I'm here today is to win my battles for the glory of God. Whatever the battle, now and after, now and the future, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom I trust, I'm here to be renewed in the spirit of my mind and to put on Christ Jesus the power of God, the righteousness of God, the wisdom of God, that I can win my battle for the glory of God. I'm winning my battle. I'm winning my battle. I am winning. 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 I'm winning my battle. This time 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 I'm winning my battle. You demonies resting with me. I warn you. I'm not weak. I have called Jesus to get involved. Whatever race, you demonies. This time, I am winning my battle. Paya. So this time, I'm winning my battle. You witchcraft. No matter who you are, in the name of Jesus, I am the winner.
your demon. You are sent to spirit. You my forefather demon. In the name of Jesus. You knew my forefather. You don't know me. I'm renewed. In the spirit of my mind. I'm in Jesus. I am the winner. I am the winner. Your poverty. Today, I speak to you in the name of Jesus. I am the winner.
you poverty. I break through. I break through you. I break through you. You poverty. I break through you. You poverty. I break through you. You sickness. I break through you. You sickness. to break through. I'm here to break through. Through poverty. To prosperity. Say Lord Jesus. Any spirit. Any evil spirit. That torments my soul. I'm renewed now. In the spirit of my mind. I have put on Jesus. Upon my soul. Any spirit. Tormenting my soul. In the name of Jesus. I command you. Oh! my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you all. You infirmities. You infirmities. In my blood. You infirmities. You sickness. In my liver. In my kidney. In my stomach. Any spirit, any spirit that torments my business, that torments my business, that torments my career, that torments my personality. You, you evil spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you. Commence my love. Be it which In the name of Jesus. I command you. Sit one moment. Sit down one moment. I'm here to win. My battle. For Christ Jesus. My battle. For Christ Jesus. Because. In always. God. Katonda. Must be glorified through me. He has sent his son Christ Jesus to abide in you so that you can win the battle. Whatever confusion going on in your life doesn't matter. What matters is him the problem solver to abide in you. It is you to hold on to that faith in your hand no matter the situation. Say no matter the situation. I'm holding on to faith in Christ Jesus. 
meaning I'm holding on to trust. That trust I have in Christ Jesus. Say, no matter the situation, I'm holding unto that trust, unto that trust I have in Jesus. That in all situations, I'm winning this battle not only for me but for the glory of God. I, I'm the winner. I'm holding my faith. Hold, hold your faith. Oh, your hand. Hold your faith in your hand. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I have taken the faith. Those who laugh, let them I'm laugh. holding on to faith in Christ Jesus. This battle, this situation, I am the winner. I am the winner. Hold and to faith. Hold. Prayer. 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 I'm holding on to faith. I'm holding on to faith. This battle. This battle I'm fighting. Against these witch doctors. Against this witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner. In the name of Jesus, I am the winner. I am the winner. In this battle of marriage, demons, they don't want me to marry. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I am the winner. I am Abuda. I am the winner. I win my battle. I win my battle. Take, take the victory. Take the victory. Take the victory. You are the winner. Take the victory. I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner. I know demons they want me poor they don't want me to get rich but in this battle I am the winner 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 In Say I know the demons do not want me to get money. But in this battle of forgetting money, I am the winner. Take your victory, take your victory. Say in this battle of prosperity, in the name of Jesus. Whatever demon from my past, be it a sensual spirit, be it demonies of my forefathers, in the name of Jesus, Christ, I am the winner. When I see you praying. A sentence you want to A sentence you want to call it. A sentence you want to call it. A sentence you want to call it. A sentence you want to call A sentence you want to call A sentence you want to Demons like it 
Demon will like it or not. Prosperity is in my heart. Prosperity in my heart. Say you demon Whether you like it or not In the name of Jesus Money in my heart I'm a Faranga Mungaro. Santa 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 Mungaro. Jesus has issued a decree. Riches in my heart. Riches in my heart. Whether demons like it or no. Man in my heart. Whether demons like it or no. Man in my heart. Whether demons like it or no. Man in my heart. Riches in my heart. Whether that demons like it or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, money in my heart. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Whether that demons like it or not, money in my heart. Money in my heart. I begin counting money. I begin counting money. In the name of Jesus. I begin counting money. Have your seats. Say, I must succeed. For the glory of God. Say, I must succeed. For the glory of God. 
I'm the house of God. I'm the temple of the living God. I must from today succeed for the glory of God. Whether demons like it or not, whether people are laughing, they will swallow their words. They will swallow their words. I must prosper. I must prosper. I must prosper. In the name of Jesus. Confirm your prosperity. Confirm your riches. Confirm your prosperity. Confirm your victory. Your prosperity. Confirm your money. Confirm your prosperity. Confirm your prosperity. Confirm your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough. Confirm. Confirm your breakthrough. Confirm your breakthrough. Confirm it. Confirm it. I must. I must prosper. Whether demons like it or not. In the name of Jesus Christ. I must prosper. I must break through. Break through. Break through. Break through. I'm here to break through for the glory of God. I'm here to break through for the glory of God. In Jesus' holy name. You may be seated. Say, here I am for the glory of God. From today, I've started shining. Hallelujah! Do you know why? He has chosen you in this generation to show the excellence of God in this generation. To God be the glory. Those who have been racing with you, they have been defeated. I said they have been defeated. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May be seated. You want to break through? You want to be a rich man? Yet the demons do not want. So that so they are wrestling with you. They have been defeated. Listen. The Lord is the cause of your victory. Hold unto thy faith. Don't bother with many words. Do you read your Bible every day? I'm reading Exodus 14. Verse 14. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Hallelujah! Yeah. Listen. The Lord will fight for you. And you hold your peace. Say so the Lord is fighting for me. And with faith in Christ Jesus, I'm holding my peace. The Lord will fight for you. And you hold your peace. Are you going to business? Is it your career? Is it your office? office yo. Since today, the Lord will fight for you and you hold your peace. Say, since now, the Lord will fight for me and I'll hold my peace. The enemy isn't the issue. Your, your strength to control him 
if you're under the authority of the Almighty God, listen to what he said. I'm reading Exodus 14. Verse 24-25. Now it came to pass in the morning watch <laughs> that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and the cloud and he troubled the army of the Egyptians. Not Moses looked at them. Not the Israel looked at them. Can I read it again? <laughs> Do you know what is about to happen in oh, your business? Here? Yeah? Here? Yeah? Do you know what is about to happen? Oh, Listen. In your career. Here? Yeah? In your marriage. In your relationship. Yeah? Do you know what is about to happen? Oh, Let me tell you. Verse 24. Uh, 1424 Exodus. Now it shall come to pass in the morning watch that the Lord will look down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and the cloud, and he will trouble the army of the Egyptians. And he would trouble the army of the witch doctors. He would trouble the army of the demons. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. Are you in prayer? And they took off chariots' wheels so that they drove them with a difficult. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Amen. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, on their chariots and on their horsemen. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its for death, while the Egyptians were fleeing into it, so the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, and all the army of the Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. Not so much as one of them remained. But the children of Israel had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were war to them on their right hand and their left. So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. He wishes you to prosper for his glory. Amen. Say, it is the wish of my creator. It is the will of my creator. God the Father for me to prosper. And he has sent his son Christ Jesus to give me all the facility, all the weapon, all I'm required to have in order to win for the glory of God. Now I'm set for the rest. Are you set? Now I'm set for the rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm set as a winner. Hallelujah! Amen. There is power 
more for you to prosper. You were created to break through. Say, I was created to break through for the glory of God. This my body, my soul, my personality must win for the glory of God in all ways. In all ways, I must win for the glory of God. Confirm your victory. I must win. I must show God that I have won. I must show the glory. My personality in this generation must show up the glory of God. So I must win. 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 I I am the winner. I have won the battle. Send one good day. I am the winner. 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 I win. 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 I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner. I am the winner. I win. Yeah. <laughs>